What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I didn't plan on filming this video today, but I was looking around and I couldn't believe, I should believe because I'm obsessed with the Dollar Tree, but how many things in my house are from the Dollar Tree? So I thought it might be fun to walk you guys through and show you some of the Dollar Tree items I have and how I use them in my house. So if you wanna see some of my favorite Dollar Tree items throughout my house, then just keep watching. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know the type of content that you like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video with me again. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one I just want to show you is in my bedroom, and this is the rope from the Dollar Tree. And you can see I've had this one a while, so it's got some water on it and things, but um, this is just the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a few different colors. This is the, the brown that they always have, and then sometimes they have the softer white one that I really like. And all I did was hot glue this around a planter that I already had, but it's such a, it gives like boho vibes, and I just think it's so cute. Okay, the next place we're at is in my closet. And first thing I have are these two um, framed wall arts, and those are both from Dollar Tree. I just think they're so pretty, and they work well with my hats that are up there. And then down here, another rope craft. This is just the, the, the lighter color, and all this is is it's just hot glued on to a plastic platter. So I went down a row so you can't see the platter, and then I added those little handles. But it's just so cute. You could use this for so many things. And I have it for our like cologne and perfume. Okay, and while we're in the closet, one thing everyone should have in their closet is a pair of scissors. This is great for cutting tags off and strings off sweaters and things like that. So that is from the Dollar Tree. And then I have these little plastic organizers. These, I believe, are in the craft part at the Dollar Tree. But I love this for everyday jewelry. This is stuff I'm constantly grabbing for. And it makes it super easy to pack. And they have a really tight seal. I can do this with one hand. Oh, can you hear that? So it doesn't go anywhere, which I love. That's that's important. Make sure it seals tight. That's why I don't use the pill organizers from the Dollar Tree because I just don't love the seal. But these are great. And then also over here hiding, this is from the Dollar Tree. And this is filled with rubbing alcohol, just straight rubbing alcohol. And then in one of these drawers, I have little cotton rounds and I just use this to clean my earrings. I also have a trash can hidden in the corner over here and that's another must have for your closet. And then in the back of the closet I have one of these collapsible clothes hampers. This is where I throw anything that's going to be donated to Goodwill so it's nice as soon as I try it on if I don't like it it goes into there. And then up here in the closet as well is also a Dollar Tree puck light. This is actually the square version but they also come in circle. It's great. It's like the perfect amount of light if someone's waking up before you and you don't want to like blind them. Just turn this on. It just gives enough light for them to see. And it runs on three AAA batteries. Okay, now we are in my bathroom. Again, I didn't plan to film this video, so you might get some messy spots. It's real life here. Okay, first thing I have over here in my bathroom, this little floating shelf from the Dollar Tree. And I have a business card holder here from the Dollar Tree. And what this is for is watching YouTube or listening to podcasts or videos while I'm getting ready. I like it because it's command stripped on there. So I don't want to keep it there forever. Uh, like when we move, I definitely don't want to make holes in the wall, but it's perfect for holding your phone. And then over here, I have one of the plastic acrylic organizers from the Dollar Tree. These are great. Love, love, love them. Over here, this is above the toilet, and this is just a Dollar Tree frame that I printed out a little nice butt sign. I thought it was so cute. And then this is the wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. Those are to hold my face rags. I had one of these in the closet, but I also have another one of puck lights in my bedroom. I have one by my nightstand and by my husband's. And again, I love them because they're hidden and they're temporary, so I can take them off whenever we move, but I love it. I actually put a little bit of painter's tape on mine because it mutes the light a little bit at night so it's not blasting you, and then it doesn't take up room on my nightstand. This is also in my nightstand, and this is a great little uh, organizer. I showed you this in the closet, but this, I'm using it for medicine, and I like having it right by my bed. Another thing in the nightstand from the dollar, little cord organizer. I love it because it's kind of stiff, but I keep um, headphones in here, so if at night I can't sleep and I want to watch a video and Ryan's sleeping, I grab this out of the nightstand. Okay, this is my laundry area, and three things here from the Dollar Tree. They are these wire baskets and this one is holding dryer balls, dryer sheets. And then over here I have a little um, tin where we keep clean masks. And this is also a label from the Dollar Tree. Just I just used a zip tie to hook it on there, but so cute. Okay, now we're in my kitchen and this is one of the little silver tins from the Dollar Tree. And mine's beat up because I've had it a while. And all I did was paint it. I freehand it around the flowers and garden. If you get close, you can see it's not perfect, but from far away, it's super cute. And then the legs are just from the chest set at the Dollar Tree. And those are just E6000 on the bottom. 
and then I have a little plant. I believe I got this from um, like Home Goods. I might even still have the thing on it. Ooh, TJ. But yeah, I just have that in there and some Mrs. Meyer soap, but it's so cute. This is another Dollar Tree from my kitchen and this is holding Truvia and it sits right next to our coffee pot. This is one of my favorite items from the Dollar Tree and those, both of these are two of my favorites. You can see it kind of got smeared, but these little storage containers are awesome. This one's out right now, but they're just little gray. They pop, the top pops open. They're great for dry goods in a pantry. And then these are their little um, pull-out organizers and I'm using these for extra spices. But they're really heavy duty, they hold quite a bit. And then another Dollar Tree organizer here with just a cloth label and this is where we keep extra pasta. These are kind of flimsy so I don't recommend um, using these for anything heavy but it works great for light stuff. I just posted this in a recent video but this is actually one of the dollar store um, decoration signs. I can't even remember what was on it before. I basically just modge podged on some craft paper. I used the sheets of cork board from the Dollar Tree and I just tripled them so they were nice and thick and they are self adhesive. So you just stick them on. This was craft paper that I cut out and these are wooden labels from the Dollar Tree. Um, one thing I love to do is I like to use their furniture markers and I'll link a picture here or show a picture here of them. But this was just raw wood and so was this and you can use those markers to stain them so if you're not trying to make a big mess or smell up the house it's a great way to stain stuff and then these are wooden letters also from the dollar tree and all they did with this was use a sharpie to color it in but it's my cute little chore chart those were just a few quick items i wanted to show you guys around the house from the dollar tree that i use that i keep out every day that i love so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for taking the time to watch and i'll see you in the next one bye Across the room.